Welcome back everyone to the Song of Waves and Wind where we are back here in the Hunter Camp and I am talking once again to Tevrimd, the one who gave me the quest on the crocodiles a couple of episodes ago and let's see what he wants. Do you have need of something? The demand for crocodile meat and hides remains high, friend. The latest request wants enough hides and meat to sustain my patron for a week. Go west to the shore, hunt the crocodiles for the meat and hides, and return to me when you're finished the collection. Alright. What else do you need? Do you have need of something? When I signed on to this expedition, I hoped to seek my own fortune as a hunter and the magnif of the Magnificent. Now, I am mired in the details of delivery and collection for the Union, and my dreams are filled with the numbers of deliveries and counts for the collection. I don't mean to complain. After all, you helped me with as much as you have, friend. You see, there is an ancient crab rumored to stalk the shores of the north and east of where we are camped. Any who find this creature and collect a trophy from it will be met with great accolades, I'm sure. I wonder, would you be interested? Okay, we will see if we could find a big crab. I've fought a few of those already. And also, the Basque Master. Basking. I'm trying to think. I mean, would you see a crocodile bass, or is he talking? There is much to be done, and there are hands by which to do it. During the sunlight hours, it is said a great crocodile of immense size and age makes its way to the beaches to sit and rest in the sun amongst the the bask of basque crocodiles. Some have fought the creature only to be rescued near death from the jaws. Others have gone on the hunt and disappeared. I had wanted to make my mark as a shore hunter by claiming the jaws as a trophy, but alas, my duty now is the daily effort of scribing and counting. Uh, perhaps this is a pursuit that you'll find appealing? Alright. So, I need to find a big crab and a big crocodile, apparently. Now, let's see. Are there any quests here that I haven't done yet? Actually, is this the... Yeah, I, I thought that was one I didn't want to worry about for the moment. Ah, a statement of purpose. The land to the east of the city and north of the encampment is barren and desert-like. There lay a wasteland where lives, where trees grow sparsely and danger work lurks within the sand. Terrible creatures sift through the sand, spin it about them, and they blow across the landscape, or worse, lay traps to, en to ensnare the unobservant. Above all else, one must be alert and informed when entering those lands. I advise you to consulting with the experts here within the expedition camp for the guidance and the direction to understand why we hunt the desert the desert, and what you should expect if you make your way there. Alright. So I need to speak to three people about what they like to hunt in the desert. And here is one. Can I send you to learn about why the chefs of Umbar desire us to explore and ravage the already ravaged desert land to the east of the city, eh? I will tell you then. Across the desert grows an abundant array of aromatic and potent spices that give many of the dishes enjoyed here by the aristocracy. It is for this reason that we send so many adventurers into the waste. There are enemies there, grim winds that carry the spice, and worms that sift the sand and move, leaving spice in their wake, or carrying the spice within themselves. These are each viable targets for the collection of the spices that we desire. But be wary, the magical nature of the grim and the violent nature of the sandworms should not be underestimated. Oh. Hey, can I ride the sand? Uh, sorry, sorry, wrong, wrong IP. Okay, now, let's 
see what do we have here in the desert land east of Umbar Baharbel there is a great brood of spiders weaving deep nests in the webs to ensnare a beast as large as water buffalo it is these spiders that the aristocracy prizes not for anything other than the webbing and the silk that the spiders weave when work through the worked through the looms, the spider silk can be turned into beautiful fabrics that are then dyed and manufactured to the specifications made by the great tailors and the guilds and sold to the well-to-do. But be warned, the spiders are foul creatures with a penchant for blood, and sadly, they are very good at obtaining what they desire. You must simply be better at keeping yourself alive. Uh, I've been doing pretty good at doing that so far. And what do you need? The reasons to hunt in the desert waste are many. As a scholar, the main reason that I choose is knowledge. We seek to understand the secrets of the spider's weaving webs. We wish to know why the frill about the lizard's neck repairs itself as does the salamander's body. These mysteries are a puzzle that drives us back into the desert when we know the dangers are great. Alright, so, sounds like I'm going to be sent on a quest to get spider, something to do with spiders, I'm sure. Then we've got, oh, let's just ask her. What the advisors teach you to learn from the books and speeches. What I will tell you is from experience of my own and that of travelers who made their way through the unforgiving desert. When there is a question about safety, move, move to the rocks. When your journey is beginning to make sure to drink your water. And share your water with others only if they are trusted or your kin. Do not linger on the hot sand too long. Now, you are prepared as, as can be. Wonderful. Oh my goodness gracious. Seven of these. Alright. Well, let's remove that so that I have room for all this. You want me to collect... Spider eggs. Yes, scholars and outfitters in Umbar City concocted a plan to procure silk at reduced risk to the people like us. They desire to gather enough eggs from the brood mother of the desert to cultivate and brood within the city. Oh, good luck in that venture. Like water for meat. Ah, water buffalo haunches provide several cuts of meat for the cooks of Umbar City. Okay, need f some buffalo haunches. And also, the blistering heat of the sun burns flesh and draws water from our skin. To protect ourselves from the danger that the sun presents, we use tents and other items to shield our heads. The buffalo that roam the outskirts of this desert have large hides conducive for this. Okay, so buffalo hides when I hunt their meat. Alright. The frill of them all. Yes, there is are oddities in nature that scholars believe are worth studying. The frilled lizards of the desert are amongst the natural creatures that Umbari scholars find fascinating. The thin membranous frills around the lizard's neck heal even if ruptured or removed. This regeneration is not unique amongst lizard kinds with Umbar. In the process by which the membrane repairs itself is unknown but our scholars are working towards understanding. We must help these in their efforts of acquiring f lizard frills and delivering to the city. Okay. And? The spice must flow. Of course it must. Collect sacks of spice. And we do this. Yes, just as Umar say, the, the blend of spice helps to enhance the flavor of their dishes is more important than the collection of any ingredient. The spice blend is rare and found only in the desert. Worse still is the method of collecting the spice. To obtain desert spice, you must eliminate the carrier. 
Strange winds streaking across the desert or sandworms are known to carry the spice. Right. Okay. Silk. Yes. Merchant or magistrate, if you are a leader of Noombar, your dress and finery offered by the outfitters, or learn to refine the heavy silk of the desert spider into a fine fibers and fabric. For those like you and me, not destined to walk in the halls of leadership, you work to collect the materials that outfitters and tailors use to adorn the leaders with the trappings of their offices. Use caution when collecting the silk from the spiders in the desert. Yes, they are known to entrap travelers and beasts. Wonderful. And only one more left. Okay, make them stick. What, like webs? I have another request for the scholars of Umbar. An interest in learning the secrets of nature inspired scholars to learn the secret of spinning spider silk. Scholars believe that they have careful study of the spider glands. You want me to collect spider glands? Yes, exactly! Oh, well. Well, now that I've got ten quests on here, it's time for me to... Well, find a crab and a croc, right? Oh, yes. I also need the regular-sized crocodiles. Hi there! Sorry, I need your hide. Yeah, I know, that means... That when they see me, they want to hide. Ah. Alright, where was I? That's not a particularly large... I'll be quiet. Okay. That worked. Now, let's continue along. Well, that that's not a crab that I need, right? Probably not. Oh. All right. I forgot that I needed to collect a few more of those. Oops, Daisy. Oh. Thank you for announcing your presence. So I could prepare my attack. Now. Where do I need to go? Well, it looks like that the next target is right here, volunteering. go and goodbye <sighs> ah here are the buffalo well, let's make sure that we don't forget them in our hunt for the day there you go whoops Daisy oh it looked like they were about to go up to something. Okay, good. Now, what do we have? Oh, hold on. I am looking... It's an elite crocodile. Got a moot. Let's see, is that the one? Yeah, this is the crocodile I am looking for. There you go. Quite a lunch you had there. Good thing for me, I wasn't there to receive it. Sorry to disappoint you. But I, I would prefer not to become your dinner. That was a tough one. Speaking of dinner, I need 
something for munching. Then we could head out. Find out what else we need to do. I thought I spotted a large crab around here somewhere. Oh, I did. Hard to find them though. These brushes are just so large. So how about right here where I can see it? Yep, that is a bee crab, all right. Hello, will you please donate your crab legs? Oh. Oh, you have a tough shell. All right. Uh, that's going to make things, well, tougher, I guess. Oh, okay, I broke through the shell. That's good. Oh, broken shell. M plus two. All right. Oh, now that you broke the shell, you're vulnerable. Okay, good. Ha! <sighs> well, that was the right big crab, right? Yes, you have defeated Noma Crew and collected its claw. Yay! With all the materials I collected, I decided to come back here to camp to deliver them before heading out further to find those things from the spiders and other things. Claws. Might you spare a moment? This is exactly what I required, friend. I will ensure that these claws are delivered to my patron and they will know your involvement. After all, you should be rewarded with more than I can offer for your continued efforts. Okay. And also, crocodile honey. Do you have need of something? I don't think the demand for the hides and meat to the crocodiles will ever diminish. I only see the demand growing as more citizens realize the value of this hide. The meat is an acquired taste, though. It seems that more and more are acquiring it daily, though. Thank you for your continued effort. Okay, good. And now... Oh yes, the giant crab. Do you have need of something? My friend, you have done something that several have dreamt of, but none, until now, have ever achieved. I will offer you a very little in the way of reward for such a feat. Certainly not enough to honor the achievement, but please, accept this reward. Okay. And... Oh, yes, the giant crocodile. There is much to be done, and here are hands by which to do it. This is a feat that I didn't think was possible. All right. There we go. Ah, well, that takes care of that. Now, what do I have? Oh, I have... Oh, the buffalo. The buffalo components. These haunches are exact, expertly removed from the water buffalo. It is clear that you have undertaken tasks like this before. Oh boy, have I. I will see that the cook skilled of Umbar becomes aware of your contributions. Please accept this reward. You're welcome. And finally, proper size of a tent. A fine collection. I will return this to my patron in the city, and they shall be made into useful um, abodes for the populace. Useful abodes. Okay. I suppose so. What she need now? A pension? Oh, that's a daily. Let, let's skip the daily. With all that done, it is time for us to head out to deal with the spiders and the spices and the silk and the glands and whatever else we can think of when we return to the next episode of the Song of Waves and Wind.